We're here at the Ballymun Axis where 10 Dutch and 10 Irish rappers are set to take this stage tonight as part of the Crossing Borders with Hip Hop and Rap Programme. Dutch to Dublin has been a cultural exchange where a crew from Holland, from the Netherlands, have uh, integrated with our Dublin crew, our hip hop crew, and we've uh, collaborated to create an album and perform it live. How have you seen uh, these guys grow uh, over the week that you've had been with them? Well, I suppose I've seen um, people who would be, I suppose, the, the younger crews would be more. Uh, used to receiving, mm -hmm. I can see that they're they're giving it out. So they're like little sponges. They're ringing it back out now. They've been absorbing all the time, but now they're ringing it out, and it's kind of happening organically. Still kicking it in the middle of the capital. Animals in the concrete jungle. We're down here in the recording studio with Megan and Dom. Uh, you guys are involved in the project, of course. Uh, what have you gotten from it? Um, lots of confidence. Yeah. And I've made more friendship with people abroad. Like it's my first time ever going out of Ireland, so right. and it was amazing, brilliant. What about the Dutch side? Yeah, uh, lots of people you met, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, that's the biggest thing, I guess. The new people I met, and just a great experience. Mm -hmm. I'm from a little town, going to the cities and I move around. Where you wanna go to? Night the rebel in your spot. Check me on YouTube, whatever man, it's all I got. It's like my life, it's your life, and everything the same. But I'ma take over this game, and I don't care about the fame, cause I'ma get it. The rap scene, it's here in Ireland, but as you know, it's probably not the most supported music scene. So yeah. At least now we kind of have the link to start getting overseas a little bit more and collaborating, you know, because, like I said, the Dutch rappers over here, it's something new for the Irish people and vice versa, you know, when we're over there, it's just like, people are like, like a bit of change, you know. Do you find yourselves relating to each other's lyrics? Not really. <laughs> the the Irish accent, yeah. the slang, I don't know how you guys call it here. It's I find it uh, pretty difficult for mm -hmm. me. So sometimes I'm like, what, what is rapping about? Yeah. But if you like listen to it often and often and over and over again, then you're like, oh, that's what he meant. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Then it would be the same story as me. Yeah. Obviously, I don't understand Dutch, but you know, the first thing, the impression you take is like, you don't need to understand. You can feel if somebody has energy and they're, you know, and they're killing the beat, you can just go, you know, ooh, this dude can rap, you know? So, look, it says after a few more times, then it's obviously kind of like, what's he saying? So, I'll just be like, yeah. Mimi, tell me, you know? Yeah. Like, <laughs> and then I could just go, oh, it's good. Apple don't sign to you, they wait the talk. I say, it's so not naive, young. It's so not jokes, yes. Have you felt it growing in the last while, the Irish rap scene, in, in level of respect as well? Ah, definitely. Like, now you can't walk through Bally Moon without a 10 year old going, oh, you're the rapper guy, rap with me. And, <laughs> I'm like, and this rap and this and that, you know? And that's all over the city, so it's just growing and growing. Night the Rebel, I'ma take over the world. <laughs> Please. Yeah. Huh? I'm gonna, oh, I'm, 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 I'm.